hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show how to get rid of this cross thread ui updation uh, error you might get when you deal with more uh, threads and you're trying to update uh, the ui elements from a thread other than uh, the main ui thread here we will be dealing with a form application which has various elements like labels text balls and buttons and when I press the button it performs some action and ultimately I am going to use this button to start a new thread other than I, the main UA thread and bring about changes in all those elements so what I am effectively trying to do is I am changing the UA elements from a thread that is not the main UA thread which will indeed raise an error called cross thread updation error of sort so first let me do some quick actions so i am using this button click and then just changing the label value label one dot text is something like hello I save it sorry this is the wrong button let me do this in this button it's so it's it works right let me introduce a timer and an integer into the class so First I will be declaring the integer which is count let it be 0 at the start and let me create a timer and uh, it's typically windows.forms.timer and I'm naming it as my timer. My timer is equal to new timer of So there is an ambiguity reference exception and I will just use windows.forms.timer to get rid of the ambiguity. Then just include an interval for the timer. I am just making it as 250 milliseconds and then you have to define A ticking uh, method so go ahead and generate the method so in this method I will just increment the count value and update uh, the label one of the labels so the value will be updated in this label let it uh, be number one two three four five so this timer will call this tick function for every 250 milliseconds and just make it a plus so that's it label 2 is updated here and label 1 is updated here and these are the UI changes that I will make through a new thread. Equal to new thread of so just use it like a delegate. You can write anything you want here. I'm not going to do much, I'm just going to store the timer. Timer dot start off and then I'm going to just invoke the button event. You could send this and uh, and it will just work. And then 
you could actually make changes to the text box I have in the form to view thread so in this button to click keep and I am just starting a new thread and this thread will make all the UA changes that it possibly possibly can new thread dot start off so I have started this thread and now you will get an error cross thread not valid control label one access from a thread other than the thread it was created on so this is the error we are talking about we are going to clear it in this video the idea here is straightforward basically i am changing the elements that are present in this form so i have to use begin invoke of in this form object so here i have to just call this meaning this form object and then call begin invoke and just include everything inside so to do this i have to basically need an action object first off let's create a delegate and then convert the delegate to an action object to get things done so i have to do all of this changes inside this delegate and it's showing an error cannot convert anonymous method type delegate that is not a delegate type so he can uh, get rid of this error by casting it to an action object so that's it you can, all the changes you intended to make through this thread will now be done so I am clicking on new thread invoke you could see that the timer is running and this label is being updated so I can do also something else with this so I am going to make this thread sleep for a while thread dot sleep off for like 10 seconds and then I am going to invoke the same set of actions by using begin invoke this begin invoke will make all the changes in the UI elements from another thread so I will make this to update label 3 dot text as select and off meaning this thread is just sleeping in all time and then if I'm getting checking for a condition uh, by converting label to dot text I have to check this for greater than 40 So let me just remove this number so it will always be a number and I can just convert it and check for 40 so this timer take happens for 250 milliseconds and this thread does sleep is 10,000 10 seconds so that's why I'm checking it 40 at the end of the time it will uh, result in 41 I think so this will indeed turn out to be true so i am just checking it with a message box finally i am just stopping this timer that's it
so we have started in your thread and we have made used begin invoke to get rid of this cross thread ui application error and then we will make use of delegate and turn it into an action object to make all the changes that might bring change in the changes in ui elements thereby uh, in a new thread we are performing ui updation of uh, the form element so basically this begin invoke just make use of a new thread from the thread pool other than uh, the thread it is currently executing on so when i use begin invoke and then the sleep this thread for 10 seconds it won't affect the timer changes i am starting here or any button click even they will get clicked and all the changes will be updated it doesn't matter if this thread is sleep or not it is always run in a new thread and we can change this in the output now so i'm just going to click on new thread you could see that now this second new thread is currently in sleep and the timer is running and when this uh, second new thread is comes to its original state that is not uh, sleeping state it uh, updates uh, slept and off so what I'm saying is even if you start a new thread and use begin invoke to make the UI update in uh, the form element I'm saying is this will take a indeed new thread from the thread pool other than the thread it's currently running upon so even if you sleep on this thread it doesn't matter all the serious ui update will still happen no matter what and when i uh, when this sleep time is over i, I will get a slept and off message and it will check for condition if it is true it will display success otherwise the timer stops that's how this is work so in effect we got rid of this cross thread ui update error so i hope you like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you